The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio. Thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. E la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Leonardo! Leonardo! Mi dispiace, messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. Leonardo! Ezio? What luck! I uh, have run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. <laughs> what is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <laughs> What is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo, I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. Venet. 
Venezia, such a beautiful city, so many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, l'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! They're trying to climb on board! Knock them off! Someone's on top! Use sharp turns to make the carriage roll! Ezio! Watch out behind you! Do something! Watch out! Don't let the carriage roll over! They're here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. There he is! Careful to see your organs gently steaming in the sunlight.
Here! Over here! Ezio! Here! Over here! Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh... Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress. Only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore. But please, Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Katerina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. Had I known... <laughs> It's quite all right, my friend. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing is quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities. You know, 
So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on! Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. <laughs> A few of the records of his later Animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... I put him through... It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed Sixteen so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault? I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. Desmond, over here! All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to Sixteen wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here.
is this? Where am I? It's Aker. Altair. How the hell? Not even in the Animus. I must have passed out. Having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Hmm. That must be his target. From Acre. What was her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. All right. Wasn't expecting that. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional. What a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Mm, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right.
Messer Da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno, è ben arrivato. I'm Elvise. Signor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Come, I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico! Come, come, there's more to see. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is... there is... You were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. Stop, no, stop, stop! Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have... I left my money with my bags. Hey! Mind your step, Corleone! And here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but... But the way things are now... Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people. For freedom or some such nonsense. But Giannate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the Council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop! And now, I present to you your workshop, Ser Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success, and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Here to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another Codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla.
I don't care who you are or where you came from. Act like this, I'll put you in the ground. How best to get inside? Scale the wall and... Oh, that's not good. I'll never make that jump. I need to find another way. you. We need to go. You never did apologize for knocking me over. No! Va bene, where to? The water. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. <sighs> Better off on my own. Go, go! Fear not. I'll make sure each of you dies. <laughs> Catch your name. Rosa. Honorato Rosa. I'm Ezio. I know. What do you mean I know? Non ora. Rosa's been wounded. 
Us are here. We'll go the rest of the way in the boat. Careful. Go! I'll deal with the guards. You won't escape. Kill them, Ezio, quickly! Quickly! Shooting at us! Idiota! Say a prayer later! Porco I need to see... I need to see Antonio! Be careful! Let me do it! Go and find Antonio! Mr. Hugo, do what he says! Qual'ultimo arrivato dagli ordini! So 
Hey, hey, wake up. We need help. Where's Antonio? Make yourselves useful. Clear a space for her. Put her down there. Where are we? Om. They've sent for help. Thank you. Rosa, what's happened? Just get this out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit through the thigh. That's good. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care not to... Now! Come here, boy. Tenetela. I'm sorry, Piccola. Sorry! Ficatelo nel polo, you're sorry! Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into her wound. Are you ready? Now! Ben Fowler, you work well under pressure. She's spirited this one. Porca putana! Avanti! Get Rosa inside so that Bianca can close the wound. You'll be all right. The worst is past. Ti venissi il cancero, brutto bastardo! A te che la grandissima troia di tua madre! Thank you. Rosa is most dear to me. If I had lost her... I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. So I've heard. Don't look so surprised. We know all about you, Ser Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little... unrefined. Then you know why I'm in Venezia. I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. Avanti! Ezio! Prego. Can I offer you something? Biscotti? Un café? What's café? An interesting concoction brought to me by a Turk merchant. Here, have a taste. A little bitter, if you ask me. Just seems lacking somehow. I don't know, have you considered adding sugar, maybe? Or latte? I suppose it's something of an acquired taste. Enough about that. Now where were we? Our failure at the Palazzo cost us dearly. It will take time to recover. No doubt Emilio will use this pause to strengthen his defenses and continue his oppression of the district. You may not share our motive, but I know you share our goal. Why not gather your forces and try again? To act in haste would only bring more losses. No, we must resupply and draw new plans. Can ill afford to sit around and wait? Nor would I want you to. Work with us instead. Already my men begin to mend today's wounds. Seek them out. They'll put you to work. The sooner you aid them, the sooner we can strike. Molto bene, Messere. I accept. It is the right decision. Ah, Ezio. I was hoping you might return. I want your advice on something. Of course. Tell me what troubles you. Emilio has turned some of my own men against me. Bribery and blackmail, is it? Yes. And we cannot strike until the traitors are dealt with. They're still somewhere in this district, keeping tabs on us and reporting back to Emilio. Not for much longer, they're not.
You do come again. Ben trovato, Ugo. What's the trouble? You and Rosa managed to escape from Seta. But the others were not so lucky. Emilio has captured them and now they await execution. Do you know where they're being held? I know they're still in the district. But beyond that, no. You'll have to look for them. I'll have your brothers back here in no time. Don't 
Let them get away! This way. Squeal. It's no wonder their master hides. Where is Emilio? I like to be rid of his trash. Let's do it. Don't 
Andiamo. Cazzo! Get up! There he is, who won't it? some pikes. Better to hang their corpses from the palazzo windows. Rest and you should be well recovered, friend. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to succeed so quickly. I aim to please. I'll let Antonio know about our progress. Come find me later. I've got another job for you. What sort of job? Meet me near the docks, and I'll explain. Molto bene. <laughs> 